Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, let's go ahead and get straight on it. All right. Thank you all for the super chats. Thank you all for the love. Thank you all for the likes. I am extremely humbled. Okay. Thank you all for calling and trying to find out if i'm okay and stuff like that i am okay i'm in miami so it's above us so we're good we have some winds and stuff like that but it's not really a big deal okay so we are safe so that is good thank god right giving thanks and being in a state of gratitude so um let's go ahead and jump right in Let's see what we got. I'm going to be rusty. I haven't been on for two days, I think. So. Any guides, spare guides, will go to like clear and precise messages for my Aquas. So, Moon Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, let's see what we got. That was quick. Okay, so the death card. All right, so going through transformation, something is you're calling something quits here all right scorpio energy and then you got king of pentacles okay so i feel like a lot of you are going for uh from a place of transformation if you guys were not financially stable or not making reliable so uh, choices or something like that i feel like that's transforming in your life okay so for others, there's someone here that could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Scorpio that you're calling it quits with, and you're deciding to be single with the Nine of Pentacles, okay, because you no longer want to be codependent on anything or anybody, okay, so with the death card showing up, um, you're definitely going through some sort of transformation, and for some of you here, you're self-made with the Nine of Pentacles, okay, you don't need help from anybody else, you did this on your own. Okay, what's this death card? All right, the two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so you guys could be like, um, this is Capricorn energy. There could be somebody here who could be like unstable, okay, or there could be some sort of instability, okay, but you're trying to balance things out. If that was money that wasn't balanced or something like that, somebody could have wanted to end your monies or something like that, but at this time, right, there could be something here that's ending right when it comes to money and then you got the two of cups somebody is definitely juggling they could be juggling a scorpio it could be a virgo taurus capricorn a virgo let's see what is this two of there's a knight of cups coming in okay so there could be some sort of love offer that's coming in somebody wants um to balance things out with you okay because they see that you've transformed that you've done this on your own okay so they're coming in with some sort of love offer all right just let you know just letting you know the knight of uh cups is in love with the idea of love okay so they could give that to anybody but the two of cups does show that there is love here so for some of you this is somebody from your past all right, so two of pentacles could be Capricorn, could be a Capricorn, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Virgo. Somebody is definitely going through some sort of an awakening here, and they are trying to balance the scales and see when they could reach out to you. Okay, their emotions are everywhere. They feel unstable. What is this spirit? All right, yeah, it's definitely somebody from your past or somebody who feels like they had a past life connection with you. Okay, so you see that in the background? That's the time traveler. Okay, so this is someone who definitely sees something with you or somebody who you had a past life connection with. They want to come and reconcile with you. However, the two of pentacles is in the reverse, so I don't feel this person is financially stable. Okay, with the two of pentacles in the reverse, I feel like there's some sort of disharmony that they could be going through. Okay, so they could be also with the two of pentacles because the two of pentacles could be like someone who slows down and goes and slows down and goes. So they could be like getting mustering the courage to reach out to you and say, hey, you know, this is what's going on or something like that. 
but they keep on moving back okay because <laughs> this is you with the king of swords okay for some of you you guys could be saying something okay and it's keeping this person like with anxiety all right so they're anxious they don't know whether or not they should come in or reach out to you because you're the king of swords okay and there was too much betrayal that was pointing to the past okay so for some of you you hit rock bottom okay and you got out of that shit so with the nine of pentacles you got out of it right and you're self-made now what's this king of pent mm, let's see what is this um what's the outcome here the sun leo energy what's the sun The sun is talking about happiness. It's talking about warmth, okay? So somebody does want to reach out to you, and maybe it is sincere, okay? So with the sun here, they could be exposing something or something like that. Ten of Pentacles. They could be exposing family, and that's the reason why they haven't reached out to you or something like that. Ten of Pentacles. They want to build legacy wealth, or maybe they're coming in because they see you in that kind of energy. All right, so let's clarify these over here, and then we come back because, eh, it's too good to be true sometimes so let's see what's this king of pentacles what's this king of pentacles so virgo taurus capricorn i feel like this is you absolutely you are the king of pentacles very reliable very resourceful you're a, hus a hubby material okay or wifey material you're very active here okay you make great investments and you're definitely on the verge of taking a leap of faith into the unknown where it's going to lead you to a lot of success okay so with the fool showing up here all right this is a, a sense of innocence wherever it is that you're going to go okay you're not you're not even taking much with the fool okay so this is um aquarius energy and then you have hangman pisces energy but you could be stuck okay so you need to let go for some of you, you've let go of this person. And now they're realizing it. You snooze, you lose. Some, some, I don't know why I'm picking that up. Nessie, what is this uh, hangman with the fool? I feel like you guys are letting go of a Virgo Taurus Capricorn for some of you. Nessie, what is this fool with the hangman? right the eight of wands there's communication that's coming in okay there there could be communication from a distance that could be coming in all right for some of you here just be careful that somebody doesn't come back in just to keep you stagnant okay if the communication is kind of like slow or whatever you might need to just go ahead and let that go I guess that was a confirmation. Okay, what is this eight of uh, wands here? Eight of wands and then the five of wands. What's this uh, eight of wands, five of wands? There could be some sort of communication that's coming in. Okay, about somebody who's in arguments and somebody who's in conflict or competition with you or something like that. For some of you, this could be a Pisces, it could be an Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. So, there could be something that's coming in. What is this spirit? What's this eight of wands with the five of wands? I feel like you're over here minding your own business or something like that. Yeah, you're just minding your own business. Very patient, right? You're starting to see the fruits of your labor and shit like that. And this is like people arguing about you. There could be like gossip. There could be people in competition with you, sending you energy and stuff like that. What's this eight of wands? What are they sending your way? Okay, this is like fast um, communication or something. Emails. The star. Somebody wants to heal something with you. They want to fight for something right now. The number 7 could be significant. The number 17 could be significant. So Aquarius energy. They might see you as a star or an upcoming star or a rising star or someone who illuminates them. Alright, with the star, you are a healer. 
all right that's your energy somebody definitely wants to uh fight for something now and be prepared because the communication is coming in via email via like this person could be traveling to you okay because with the eight of wands this person could be at a distance clarify this five of wands clarify the five of wands ten of wands they want to let go ten of wands in the reverse they want to let go of all the burdens somebody wants to get something off their chest here guys somebody is definitely in regret here and i don't know i was called to do this reading for some reason okay i feel like this like pressure okay somebody might feel like very pressured all right and they want to let go of all these burdens with you and they might want to heal something okay with the with the aquarius energy with the star showing up what's the star or they see you as someone who could heal them or something like that the star with the temperance in the reverse temperance in the reverse does talk about disharmony okay so you don't have patience for them or they might not have the patience or something like that they might not even want to seek out like um help or something with the temperance okay so lack of balance impatient overindulgence they're very reckless here sagittarius energy somebody could be like overindulging and stuff because they feel like very burdened because of all these fights and stuff like that i don't know what to tell y'all here let's see let's let's clarify a little bit more what's this um so what i clarified was the star okay and the sagittarius energy the temperance and the reverse came out okay so somebody does want to heal and bring balance into a situation okay but let's see what is this uh temperance in the reverse all right the seven of wands but you need to set some sort of healthy boundaries you need to protect yourselves or you guys are in defensive mode you're protecting yourself from these people or this person whoever these people are whoever's bringing you burdens okay seven of wands you needed to protect yourself for a while from this person so it's kind of like damn how am i going to forgive you after all this time you've been trying to attack me you know so this is like bittersweet seven of wands with that star and the temperance in the reverse somebody could drink a lot here and they need to bring that into balance or they could smoke or they could whatever whatever they do they do in an excess excess like they don't stop gambling whatever the fuck the case may be i don't know let me move this over here and this over here what's this nine of pentacles what's this nine of pentacles self-made self-sufficient virgo energy some of y'all could be like eating healthy okay you guys have gone through um look eight of cups you walked away from something and you did it on your own what's the eight of cups with the nine of pentacles so you got the uh you got the page of pentacles in the reverse with the knight of pentacles in the reverse I feel like you just got out on time when it comes to something okay this could be like some sort of like breadcrumbing or something like that that somebody comes in and brings you let's clarify a little bit more what's this um knight of swords in the reverse knight of swords in the reverse knight of swords in the reverse says that there's somebody here who has lock loss of focus okay they're very impatient they could be very unpredictable with the page of pentacles in the reverse that could be somebody who does divination tools or uses divination tools they could be a tarot reader for some of you or somebody could have gone to a tarot reader or something like that somebody look tarot readers 
So, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Somebody acted in, I don't know, somebody's acting in their impulse here. What is this, Spirit? What's this Knight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? I also feel like whatever it is that they're sending towards you, you sent it towards them. Okay, so some of you could have done a return to sender here. Yeah, they could be at a distance here. You have the Two of Wands. They could be planning to reach out to you. For some of you here, I'm just picking up. This person could reach out to you to give you some sort of like bad news. Or, oh, this person, you know, they, they had this happen to them or something like that. Clarify, clarify. The Five of Swords. Yeah, they could have had something like conflict or somebody, I don't know, somebody was in some sort of conflict and they get into a fight or this could be assault. This could be murder. This could be a setup of some sort. Okay, so I don't know. Five of Swords is definitely conflict here. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then you got the Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, for some of you here, this is somebody who's very jealous or somebody who's, like, always in competition. Okay, this could be, like, bully energy. So somebody here could have, like, somebody here is going to reach out to you and let you know, hey, you know this bully or this person, you know, I found out that you were right. This person was all about that. You know, this person was doing this. This person wanted you know, to win at all costs, to separate two people that were planning a life together and shit like that. So you know what? You had to walk away. You needed to do it on your own. And you became that Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, you are self-sufficient. You're self-made, all right? For some of you here, this person listened to other people. Um, the Empress could have been a mother figure, okay? But you are, they're very jealous of whatever it is that you got going on. If you have, like, businesses, if you're just giving birth, you could be, like, very good-looking or something like that. That's Taurus and Libra energy, okay? You could be a mother figure. You guys could be pregnant, all right? And you're glowing, all right? If you're not pregnant, then you could be giving birth to new ideas, giving birth to, like, you're very fertile with ideas, okay? So, let's clarify this. What is this? Um, Empress with the Five of Swords? All right, the Two of swords in the reverse there's some sort of indecision here somebody needs to take the blindfold off and see things for what they truly are okay for some of you here this person had to choose between their mother and you okay is what i'm picking up here two of wands is like a choice between two as well okay or this could be like a mother figure it doesn't necessarily have to be a mother it could be like um a person it could be a, a sister who's like a mother figure it could be a, a a brother who thinks like they're your mother you know it could be whomever they're very nurturing okay they like to give advice here with the empress but the two of swords in the reverse the two of swords in the reverse is stress confusion and balance their advice is causing you all that Okay, for some of you, their advice is to keep you blindfolded and keep you unbalanced. Okay, for some of you here, what I'm picking up here, the Five of Swords with the Seven of Swords, you could have, like, gotten, you could have, like, realized a lot of these things, okay, and just moved away with Eight of Cups. Just left that shit behind and left it away. Okay, but this Two of Swords here, there, there's somebody here that could be, like, some sort of bully that's confusing your person or something like that and they it's almost like they made them choose okay it's me or them okay so what is this two of swords in the reverse what's the indecisions what's the ultimatum here because I feel like there is an ultimatum, Three of Swords. You gotta release this person. If not, there's no more me, there's no more money, there's no more trips, there's no more whatever. Okay, this person's with, this person for. Three of Swords, that was the ultimatum. Three of Swords in the reverse. They could have even said, you know what? Let's say, for example, this person 
is single okay they don't care about you they could have been telling this person they could they don't care about you they only care about money okay they don't care about you they've let you go and stuff like that and it was all a lie and this person believed it so they went ahead and ghosted you or something like that for some of you this is exactly what happened I don't know. So, what's this Ten of Pentacles with the Sun? What's the Ten of Pentacles with the Sun? The Tower in the reverse. So, there could be somebody here who's trying to avoid some sort of corruption or getting caught or something like that with the tower and then this ten of pentacles. Tower in the reverse is trying to avoid something at all cost. Okay, they're trying to avoid something. Avoid some sort of chaos. With the tower in the reverse, that's Scorpio energy. So, now the family is trying to avoid something. What? Okay, what's the Ten of Pentacles with the ten, with the with the um, what's the Ten of Pentacles with the Tower in the reverse and this Sun, the Page of Wands in the reverse? There's gonna be some sort of bad news that this person who you had a past life with is gonna come and reach out to you, and it's almost like eh, I don't want to say that this person is gonna use that bad news to like reach out to you to try to mend things, but yeah, I'm kind of saying that it's gonna like kind of like deviate towards that. All right, with the sun here, you're the only one that can make this person happy. But the page of wands in the reverse does bad news. For some of you here, this person could have started a uh, business or something like that, and... Hmm. What's the sun? What's the sun? The strength card, Leo energy, double Leo. So, the strength card in the upright, you're very confident. And that could really be destroying this person. <laughs> I don't get people sometimes. Leo, what is this uh, sun with the strength card? The ace of wands. A lot of fire. So, ace of wands. They have the, hut, the uh, hots for you. I feel like somebody's coming in to give you some sort of bad news. Look, um, like this person could be like... You know, a family member of this person could have passed or something like that. And they're waiting on an inheritance or something along those lines. This could be a son for some of you. Who's this Page of Wands? Aries Leo Sag or somebody who's very immature. Page of Wands in the reverse is um, delays, rebellion, disappointment. Right, somebody is definitely disappointed in a family dynamic. What is this page of wands in the reverse? Right, it could be a Libra justice in the reverse. Okay, so somebody's definitely getting some sort of karma. Hold on, there's two cards. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this. Judgment and justice in the reverse. So, justice in the reverse with judgment in the upright. Somebody could be going to jail for some sort of fraud, okay? And they're trying to, like, run away. Justice in the reverse. Something wasn't fair. Whatever they did to you was not fair. And maybe they're realizing that now. So they want, like, a new passion at beginning with you. They want to start fresh. They want to start new. But they might see you too confident now or you're too defensive. I hate this chair. This <laughs> it doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Three of Pentacles with that one ace of pentacles. Three of Wands, hold on. And then you got the Six of Wands in the reverse. 
All right, so somebody could have teamed up, okay, to affect your monies and do some sort of slander, okay, with the Six of Wands in the reverse. They wanted to bring you down if you are in the public eye or something like that. And then you got the Three of Wands. You have a sense of foresight or something like that. You were waiting on your ships to come in, but it's something along these lines. This could be like three people affecting your money, okay? They don't like the way that you make your money. They don't like to see you in the public eye because you're getting attention. They don't like when people give you attention, period. Six, seven, eight, nine. So six, seven, eight, nine of wands. Okay, so you need to keep your your walls up towards this person. Okay, if they come in. Ace of Cups in the bottom of the deck, all right? Because they might be coming in soon to love bomb you. For some of you here, you need to resist the urge to, like, four swords. You need to resist the urge. You need to put something to rest. But you need to resist the urge to have sex with this person, okay, when they come around. Okay, four swords. Self-care, slow down. Resentment with the four swords in the reverse there's still some sort of resentment i feel like somebody's going to come in and have some sort of love like hate sex uh unless you know whatever four swords in the reverse let's see anyway advice advice for my aquas <laughs> queen of swords you need to cut that shit you need to cut the bullshit okay you need to be logical as fuck all right i understand this could have been a love i understand what you guys have gone through because i've been there i've been lost i've been you know where to the point that i've wanted to communicate to people and and stuff like that and, and try to heal something but when you cannot heal something because this person is trying to win at all costs this person has a fucking ego and they allow other people to be involved in your relationship okay so you need to cut that shit off and be more logical queen of swords okay queen of swords could be a little bitter sometimes all right but at the end of the day she's very logical all right this could be like an attorney or something like that um some of you could be attorney some of you could be I don't know speaking your truth continue speaking your truth for some of you it's the fact that you couldn't express yourself at one point now you could express yourself so express yourself say what it is that you need to say to this person and move the fuck on because look four of cups you've gained some sort of clarity it's in the reverse you've gained some sort of clarity you realize you were focused on these three cups <clears throat> these three cups could be like three years three cups could be whatever the fuck it is it doesn't matter that's what you were focused on not realizing that there was a blessing in the skies now you have the clarity you see the right things you're seeing the right things okay so advice you gained the clarity that you needed to gain so that you could cut this narcissistic ass okay knight of uh king of wands look i was gonna say knight of wands because they come and go Okay, Knight of Wands could be a fa baby daddy. It could be an Aries Leo Satch for some of you. Okay, they could be mad at you still. All right, because of something that you're saying. Okay, and it could be lies that they said and maybe you're exposing them or something like that. And you're gaining the clarity or somebody's gaining some sort of clarity and it's pissing them the fuck off. Knight, King of Wands. Because you guys are like at it. Maybe not even at it, at it, but like at it spiritually at it because the king of wands could be a warlock the queen of swords could definitely be so 10 steps ahead of them they could do reversals okay they could they're very logical and with the king of clarify the king of wands king of wands they're not saying knight of wands okay in the reverse this person could be in the down low okay very arrogant they don't they they can have some sort of sex addiction and they're very lusty okay they only come in for that to 
so that's what I'm saying like resist the urge maybe when you resist the urge you're gonna realize this person might show their true colors real quick the devil Capricorn that's a confirmation right there they don't want you saying that it could be a cancer for some of you okay because look at this shit chariot showed up cancer all right they could be at a distance this person could be driving to you i don't know why i'm picking that up so just be careful guys what is um what's this problem what's this uh king of wands with the knight of wands in the reverse i'm also picking up here that somebody wanted a break from you it could have it could have lasted three years it could have lasted four years okay they wanted a break from you so they could go ahead and fuck around and go and explore and go see maybe this person was from a different place or something like that but they wanted to go out they wanted to go explore and see what was going on with the knight of wands in the reverse right emperor aries energy they could have gotten somebody pregnant <laughs> this could be your baby daddy for some of you it could be a boss figure all right so like i was saying they wanted a break and now they want to come back because they're ready all right because you do want an emperor at the end of the day you are the empress you're in the upright empress you you an empress or emperor it doesn't matter you guys are giving birth to new ideas and the reason why i'm saying that you will be the empress in this case is because they're very jealous of you and it came out with this five of swords so i feel like this is you who is the empress or giving very fertile with ideas and giving birth to new ideas and stuff like that and here he wants to come here or she wants to come whoever is the emperor in the energy wants to come in now after they fucked around after they went ahead and did their their experimenting or whatever the fuck the case may be after they could have ghosted you clarify they want to move into calmer waters with you after they ghosted you so i mean you guys you gotta you gotta use your discernment You guys should know what's better, what's good for you. And if it's this, you definitely don't want it. Okay, Nine of Swords. No. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords being trapped again in your mind. Okay, feeling like you're going to be left out in the cold, right? Or that you're going to be homeless, right? For some of you, this person is fucking homeless, right? They could be living in jail, all right with the five of pentacles being left out in the cold while you're over here working on yourself with the world with the world with the will of fortune okay so your money is looking good you guys have aquarius taurus leo scorpio energy here with the uh will of fortune All right it could be like slowly surely slowly coming towards you okay but it is coming all right you got the king of swords Hold on, King of Swords with the Page of Cups. For some of you, you don't want this apology. For Look at this shit. <laughs> Just keeps on going. All right, so they ghosted you. You found solitude. You grew. You learned okay from it you seeked some sort of um introspection okay you got out in the woods you found yourself you got that lantern you came back from the woods and now you're wise as fuck with a long ass white beard you're wise okay so so now because you got wise because you were in that hermit mode you became the six of wands in the public eye or you got attention okay you get attention you could use your voice or something all right you guys could be motivational speakers you have a group of people that are watching you you have a group of people that are rooting for you okay and they see you in the public eye are doing very good okay so they see you doing that all right page of swords that's what they've been doing they've been stalking you as they ghosted you as soon as they ghosted you 
I don't know why the fuck people ghost people when they're gonna go on the internet and try to fucking look for them. Why would you ghost somebody? It's almost like, why would you divorce somebody to spend more time with them? You know, so, for some of you, this person ghosted you and went straight onto the internet, right, to try to let go of you. They try to find stuff on you. Okay, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, they try to see if you were... Uh, drunk they try to see if you were a whore they try to see if you were insecure okay with the uh king of cups in the reverse all right now they're in regret they realize that all these fucking three cups all these people that were talking about you and stuff like that all these people that they allowed to talk about you okay with the page of swords uh ten of swords the it could be like father figures it could be whomever whoever it was okay those ten of swords that that was like betrayal okay those ten swords were were stabbed in your back okay so five of swords i mean five of cups here so now they're in regret okay that you have no more love for them make it make sense so now they want to come in with the up uh, with the apology but you're in this energy. You don't want the apology. You're the king of swords in the reverse. You're very smart now. You could be very ruthless too. So for some of you, you're going to tell this person, keep the apology you think that you need to give me because you don't. Damn, that was deep. So this is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, I'm going to do another spread here. Angel guys, very good. So, I can't precise messages for my aquas. What do we got for Aquarius? Oh, Sun, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So, yeah, happily single. You're doing you. Okay, you're dating. You're stress free. Okay, you're career focused. All right, you could be hanging out with friends. Okay, you went through the spiritual awakening that you needed to go through, all right? For some of you here, your ego was very bruised and you needed to go through an ego death. Okay, this person hasn't gone through an ego death and an ego death is part of a spiritual awakening, okay? Because you can't live always on your ego, all right? So they could be going through a downward spiral or maybe you did and that's what caused this spiritual awakening, okay? So for some of you here, you're deciding to be single, all right? You're deciding to stay alone, All right, and with spiritual awakenings, okay, there will be chaos, there will be downward spirals, there would be tests. Okay, so. All right, so pregnancy, fake news, DNA. So somebody could have had a baby, um, or somebody could have um, said that they were pregnant, but that was fake news or something like that. Okay, so you had some sort of spiritual awakening about that. What's this pregnancy with fake news DNA? All right, a workplace affair. So somebody could have gotten pregnant at work and then come home and said, oh, we're pregnant. <laughs> so that's the reason why you guys could have like, this is could be another group of people. That's the reason why you're deciding to stay happily single, all right? Yeah, because, look, you were in some sort of trap. For some of you here, um, don't shit where you eat. Workplace affair and trap. And then, with this fake news and pregnancy... I feel like somebody could have said that they were pregnant to keep you in a trap okay or i don't know or your other per or your person or something like that they could have like said oh my god i'm pregnant to keep them in a trap clarify one more workplace affair and trap here feeling like shit for doing it as well <laughs> running so you could have been running away from this person or they're running away from this person wants to run away that's what i'm picking up they want to run away towards you could be dealing with a leo 
I just heard that Whitney Houston song. Um, I want to run to you. So, I don't know if y'all are, are in your feelings listening to Whitney. All right, love, hate. You guys showing up. Somebody's definitely going through some sort of an awakening here. And there could be some sort of bad news if they're living a toxic lifestyle. Okay, you're over here healing and meditating. So, you're good. You're in the good. Keep on. Alright. However, the energy is fluid. So, if you guys are in that energy where you guys are low vibing, you need to shake that shit off and kind of like, you know, get back to good vibing. Alright, so. Let's see. Let's, let's go ahead and pull a little bit more. Angel guides, spirit guides, good living lights, messages for my aqua, summon rising Venus and North Node. Alright. Alright, so current situation. What is in the current situation? What's in the current situation for my aquas spirit? So you got the six of um, wands in the reverse. So be careful of slander. Be careful, okay, um, of people trying to, like, slander your name or something like that. All right, broken promises. Somebody feels defeated here. Disadvantaged. That's Leo energy. All right, you have been... It came out in the reverse. So failure is headed towards you. For some of you, that failure is you're in the public eye or something like that. That failure is accepting this person back. What is this spirit with the six of wands in the reverse? Or maybe you're going through some something along the lines of people like defaming you. Okay, especially if you're in the public eye. All right, with the two of wands. Yeah, this could be like something that you do worldwide. All right, but there's a new path that presents itself for some of you here. It could um, deal with traveling, okay? For some of you, it could be a choice that you need to make, all right? But there could be some sort of new opportunity or desire to change, but maybe you are scared of it, okay, is what I'm picking up. Failure is headed, you feel like there's some sort of failure that's headed towards you, so maybe you're scared to take this leap of faith. Clarify the Six of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So there could be somebody whose judgment is clouded by emotions. Okay, very manipulative. Queen of Swords in the reverse. There could be somebody who is lying on you, very moody. This person could be very spiteful. All right, it could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for some of you. They don't like the fact that you're getting attention in the current energy with the Two of Wands. Okay, but you just get new paths, new paths that continue opening for you. Okay, and they're like, why is this fucking happening? They don't like it. They're fucking bitter. Okay, they're passing judgment on you. It is what it is. So, what's this Queen of Swords in the reverse? Who is this Queen of Swords in the reverse with the Four of Wands? Somebody who you had... A twin flame, it could be somebody from the past, okay? It could be somebody who you're with. <laughs> for some of you here, there could be somebody who's in a relationship, okay? And they don't want you to travel for work. If you're supposed to be working, traveling, or something like that. All right, for some of you here, also, you need to take some sort of time to rest and enjoy your success. Okay, because work, 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 work. You kind of become a little bitter. So you're kind of like setting yourself up for failure. All right. So if new paths present itself and that six of wands is in the reverse, you could be in self-doubting mode. All right. So you need to get back on it. Jump. Dance. Shake a little. Whatever. All right. So what is in the foundation? I'm not even going to see what the blockages are, so 
because blockages are just gonna hinder you you're already gonna be aware oh my god i'm gonna have some sort of blockage it's not gonna hinder you a blockage is always gonna be there there's always gonna be blockages all right there's always gonna be people trying to block you okay whenever you're succeeding there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna try to do that for you okay but it's okay that's because you're doing the right thing look justice okay will come and reach them cause and effect whatever you put onto the world is going to come back on to you whatever you're putting on to you is going to come back to these people don't even worry about it don't take it into your own hands there's no need to be the queen of swords in the reverse where you're going to go slash some tires and 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 break a, a bust a window of somebody's car you know with a brick and shit like that you're not going to do all that kind of shit okay we we've grown we're not in that energy, okay? Maybe the person that you are dealing with is in that energy because they're low vibing, okay? With the Queen of Swords in the reverse of his an Aquarius Libra Gemini. But anyway, I know a lot of, uh, there's a couple of you that hate when I do this, but it's, it's a, uh, I can't help it. It's like, while I'm channeling, I do that, so, sorry. What's in the foundation? What's in the foundation for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? You got the Page of Swords. So in your foundation, so where everything is growing, people are watching you grow, okay? So they're watching you with the Page of Swords. All right, there could be some sort of like somebody who could be studying you, studying your foundation. How did you do it? How did the Aquarius get to that position you know and with the Queen of Swords in the reverse this person could be saying oh they got their position they got to that position by sucking their way on there up there okay or they got their position by um you know doing something like you know taboo or only fans or something like that it doesn't matter because look they've been watching how you've been growing your foundation and it's nothing like what they thought that it was so what's the page of swords in the foundation in the foundation for some of you here you guys could be going back to school all right this talks about education too or you're very educated at whatever it is that you do what's the page of swords in the foundation all right king of cups in the reverse no it's somebody whose emotions are all over the fucking place all right, they're very insecure. That's why they're spying on you. It could be a Scorpio. It could be, it could be anybody, bro. King of Cups in the reverse, unbalanced rationality, okay, and emotions. Very immature. This person could definitely be um, very overindulgent, okay, on like alcohol, especially with the King of Cups be alcohol or drugs okay or overindulgent of anything they're very rude emotionally abusive okay give me one more who's this king of cups with the page of swords could be a Cancer, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me more. All right, the Empress in the reverse. This is a distorted feminine. Okay. Somebody who neglects their own needs. Yeah, they're neglecting their own needs. Emperors in the reverse, Taurus, Libra. They're neglecting their own needs. They're neglecting their own wives. They're neglecting everybody because they're too busy watching you. <laughs> All right, there's some sort of stagnation for this person. They cannot make anything grow. Nothing grows for them. There's a lot of tension. All right, there's also a lot, a lack of um, self-esteem. This person could be very, very insecure. And that's why they're always in that page of swords energy trying to watch you trying to see what you got going on all right so for some of you here you've let go of this person but they have not let go of you so sometimes you are done with your past the past is still not done with you so it's still coming back for some of you here it's this person and their fucking mother
Taurus Libra. Who is this Empress in the reverse with the King of Cups in the reverse? I'm also picking up here, there could be like a mother figure that keeps this person very insecure. Ace of Wands in the reverse. They keep them insecure. They keep them emasculated. This person, or it could be a wife. Okay, so. They emasculate this person with the Ace of Wands in the, re in the reverse. Everything they give them, like any advice that they're giving them and stuff like that, it only prepares them up for setbacks and more delays. And you're past that shit. So that's the reason why you were in the Eight of Cups and you became a Nine of Pentacles on your own, by yourself. You are the Empress. You're in the upright. This Empress is distorted. This mother figure is distorted. Okay. And you know, the sad part is, is like, these people could watch you when they're, they're always bored. So they're always watching you. So it's hard for you to kind of like advance when you have this evil eye energy on top of you. So that's why you guys need to be doing return to senders. All right. Lighting up a fucking candle like here and there, a white candle so that you can have peace and prosperity. And, you know, lighting up. You guys need to do candle magic. You guys need to start lighting candles because whatever they do, okay, they do with can with the candles. I'm also picking up they do a lot of things with tobacco. So they grab the tobacco and they flip it backwards like if they're giving a shoddy for those that smoke. Okay, they do that kind of stuff and they blow on something to give it more energy. It could be like some sort of magic. They could be praying to like some sort of deity. So, what's in the recent past? You got the chariot, Cancerian energy. Okay, so. What's this chariot in the recent past? You got the nine of cups in the reverse with the chariot. So somebody's very selfish. Somebody could be at a distance from you. Okay, with the chariot. Okay, you need to focus your energy back. Okay, because there's some sort of deep dissatisfaction in your life. You might have felt that way in the recent past. Okay, but I feel like you got your power back. You got your, hmm, that oomph, you know, that you really needed. Okay, I feel like you got it back and your wishes are um, about to come true. Okay, at one point in the recent past, they were unfulfilled. All right, but you're in the Nine of Pentacles now. You are self-made. You have the ability to do it. Some of you could be getting money. Okay, like something is coming in. With the Chariot also, um, for some of you, you guys could have traveled somewhere, but you felt like disappointed. All right, but I feel like you're going to be successful in whatever it is that you do. If you if you have a successful mindset, you're going to be successful. If you have that, woe is me, I am like, you know, always thinking, pessimistic kind of like behavior, you're going to bring that shit upon you. Okay, so don't do that. What's on your mind? The lovers, a choice could be significant. All right, what's on your mind is harmony. What's on your mind is balance. Okay, it's in your subconscious. When are you going to meet your true soulmate? Okay, you could be calling in your soulmate. All right, you're, you're starting to feel like you're ready to have a healthy relationship. Okay, so the lovers, Gemini energy. What is this? The lovers on your mind. All right, for some of you, this could be a partnership of some sort. The lovers with the eight of wands in the reverse. You're blocking it. 
Eight of Wands in the reverse is block communication. You're blocking the lovers from coming on. You might feel already like you're soulmate. You telepathically communicate with this person, so you might feel like this person's coming in. All right, but there's slow progress. There's a lot of delays or something like that. For some of you, you guys are just kind of like surrendering. You're not looking for anybody, okay? You're just kind of like waiting. Whenever the universe is ready to give me my lover, whoever that lover is, my soulmate, my twin flame, whatever, my next twin flame because that will be with a lesson and stuff like that but i i feel so many union is coming in okay but you're there's some sort of like slow movement what is this or you could be kind of like when is it coming when is it gonna happen queen of wands could be an aries leo sag when you get out there when you get out of your comfort zone when you become an outgoing and creative person who has more optimism, more charisma, okay, for some of you, you need to put yourself out there. Confidence is very important. Confidence is key. Now you have the confidence. Maybe you guys were in this energy where you needed to get those nine of pentacles. You needed to be, you know, self-made or, or you needed to be no longer codependent so you could be good for a relationship now and the queen of wands is right there so you guys are very sexy you guys could be in the gym eating healthy good for you all right so the lovers is coming though when you get out there all right what's in the near future what's in the near future for my aquas all right so you got justice libra energy What's in the near future with justice? So justly deserved outcome. So if you do bad, like I always say, ooh, no. If you do bad, bad comes to you. If you do good, good comes to you. Okay, so we're always in that kind of energy. All right, so you got the five of swords. So for some of you here, there's some of you that have someone who could hate you. Okay, they're very jealous of you. There could be some sort of argument or something like that. For some of you, this is a Libra. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be significant. Consequences, judgment or truth, legal issues, fairness. All right, so don't act uh, in your impulse. Whatever it is that you do in the near future, don't be acting in your impulse. Okay, if you're arguing or you feel like there's a conflict that's about to arise, remove yourself from that conflict. If it's your friends, okay, that are fighting, okay, remove yourself from that conflict, okay, let them fight, because at the end of the day, you're over here doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay, so in order for your wishes to come true, you need to get away from this conflict, okay, people that are jealous of you, conflict leaving you feeling defeated, argument, surrender, stress, tension, violence, okay, somebody could be going to jail, or somebody could be going, getting some sort of legal issue for some sort of violence, something that they did, okay, for to you or to someone. Clarify. Clarify um, this five of swords with the justice. Damn, five of wands. Competition, friction, chaos, rivalry, disagreement. Guys, stay out of fights that are not pertaining to you. Okay, because I know that we all want to be a Captain save -a you know, or like Captain fucking Captain Planet, you know, the humanitarian in us. There's something here that could be happening in the near future. It could be a fight or something like that. You need to stay the fuck away from it. Okay, so it says here the presence of a conflict that's coming in. All right, so competition, friction, clarify. What is this? What is this spirit? And then the six of pentacles. They might need to pay you out for some sort of assault. 
okay or something like that but universal balance is in your favor karma rewards gifts receiving financial opportunities okay with that six of pentacles and the justice there and that five of wands all right some of you could be fighting something in court and you're gonna win okay so that could be significant for some for some of you this could be like um with that five of swords it could be like some sort of conflict this involves three people okay because the six of pentacles and the five of swords has three people in the in the card okay and there's five people fighting here okay so one per i feel like this doesn't even have to do with you i feel like this is you butting in somebody else's thing to try to help them so try to get out of that don't don't do that What's hidden? What's hidden for my aquas that Aquarius does not see yet? What's hidden? All right, I'm gonna put it back. If it wants to come back out, let it come back out. What's hidden for my aquas? All right, the Ten of Cups. What's hidden from my Aquas with the Ten of Cups? This includes family. So if family's fighting, get out of it. What's hidden? And then you have the world. I feel like you guys are gonna be very satisfied. Something could be going viral. Okay, so there's going to be some sense of you being satisfied with something. There's a sense of wholeness. There's a sense of completion. Okay, some of you could be going viral. Some of you could be going online. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy with the world showing up. All right, so the universe is definitely in your favor. They're about to give you this Ten of Cups that you've been asking for. Okay, you just need to get out there. Queen of Wands, get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your bubble. Okay, so go travel right get out there you're free you're free to go travel all right so for some of you here um you're being rewarded all right you could be in luck right now stability health everything six of cups <laughs> you could even be m meeting someone that is from a past life or this is somebody who is in your past coming back up a reconciliation all right so finding a connection to the past reconnecting to someone reconnecting to family for some of you and you could be feeling a little nostalgic somebody wants to bump into you all right some of you could be like replaying something over and over in your mind of this person is all right what's in your environment you got the ace of pentacles you got money in your environment you got new opportunities in your environment don't fuck it up new beginnings and prosperity financial gain opportunities change in money career opportunities okay this could be a new opportunity in love this could be Nessie. it's a uh, this could be a, a home okay because it's in your environment this could be a new job that's going to pay you really well maybe you're going to be on top of like sitting on a throne what's this ace of pentacles in your environment no this is an opportunity in love somebody's bringing a ring <laughs> balance and harmony was this ace of pentacles two of cups balance and harmony in a relationship somebody is around you somebody definitely wants you back For some of you here, you could be also, this doesn't necessarily, let me, let me clarify. This doesn't necessarily have to be a loving situation. You could be partnering up with someone in your environment and doing a business. Okay, so that could be significant too. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
Whatever it is that you do, just make sure that you're still the boss. That you're an authority. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be like business, like business wise, if you're gonna boss up with someone or you're gonna like do a partnership with someone, Aries, Leo, Sag, could be okay. It could be a a new opportunity or something like that. Maybe even a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, even a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It doesn't matter. If you're gonna uh, team up with someone or something like that, remember to you be the boss. You have to be the boss. Okay. So clarify, clarify be an Aries Leo Sag that's coming back in Knight of Wands in your environment a new venture they want to have a new venture with you eight of cups in the reverse they have abandonment issues no uncertainty of which path to take this person could be um distracting you from the path that you need to be on so they could take advantage of um, abandonment wounds. They could take advantage of, like, if you are, you know, uh, very giving or if you are very nurturing and very... They could be taking advantage of that. Okay, so be careful who you let around your energies. All right, so what's the outcome? They could take advantage that you have low self-esteem or maybe they can make fun of you or something like that. I know for the aquas I know that's not gonna happen so speak up what's the outcome you got the three of cups speak up to unfairness okay to the gossip all right social distancing canceled events you could be canceling some sort of event because you could have heard some sort of gossip right because people are gossiping cheating third-party situation all right um the strength card in the reverse for some of you you need to get out there okay yourself back you're you're yeah you're held back because of self-doubt okay because people gossiped about you because you're afraid about you're not afraid but you you care about what others think or something like that who gives a fuck it doesn't matter does it matter five years from now? Absolutely not. It's not going to matter five years from now. The number eight could be significant. 83 could be significant. All right, so. Strength card. Yeah, you need to get out. What's the strength card in the reverse, Leo energy? What's the strength card in the reverse? You could have social anxiety, all right? The magician, and that could be the magic or the manipulation that you've experienced in the past, okay? For some of you, you could be, that's what these people could be doing. Like earlier I was talking about, like they could be manipulating something or magic or candle magic or something like that. That candle magic that they're doing is to get you to feel not confident, to get you to be stuck in rumors and in gossip and in third party situations and anything that comes in, you know, you feel isolated at the end of the day. So you are the magician. You know how to transmute that energy. Okay, so utilize the skills at your disposal. You have the swords, you have the pentacles, you have the chalice, you have the wand. You have a limniscate on top of your head. Okay, so what goes around comes around. You have the ability to create. Light a candle. Return that shit back to sender. What's the magician? Take control of a situation. Absolutely. Take control of a situation. All right, because they're in regret. For some of you here, this person could be doing that kind of magic, but they're in regret because they see you winning they see you confident what's this um who's in this three of cups in the reverse and the strength card in the reverse for some of you you guys are not going out because you're holding on to the past and you need to let that shit go so that you can meet somebody who's meant for you sorry um tough love All right, yeah, you need to let them go. Okay, they remember the fact that they let you go. Remember the fact that they let you stay out in the cold. Okay, I'm not saying hold a grudge against them and shit like that. Okay, but if they did this to you, all right, you guys need to love yourself. Now they're in regret. Okay, you guys are the magician. You need to transmute that energy. And whatever is best for you is what you need to do. 
okay not what's best for them not because they're because you so because you feel pity okay because they're gonna be left out in the cold and now they have financial difficulties you know and there's like bad weather outside and stuff like that i'm not saying you know if there's bad weather outside and you need to help somebody i'm saying go for it help as much as you can but look high priestess follow your intuition okay and then when it comes to the devil capricorn pisces cancer magician is gemini virgo taurus capricorn strength card is leo gemini showing up again all right so you guys could be dealing with that all right but you're overcoming some you're overcoming some they try to block your intuition you're overcoming it you're growing and you've overcome some sort of like block growth okay if you were addicted to stuff or something like that you're ending that shit aloe vera could be significant you guys could be like eating like little slivers of aloe vera or something like that it's supposed to be good for you okay but you've had some sort of epiphany and some sort of a uh, revelation and you let go of this devil All right, let's see. Um, cool. I haven't spent much time with you guys. I'm sorry, guys. But I need some time alone, too. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. I think I forgot to say that. All right, the past is the past. Let it go. What else? I acknowledge my fear, but I overcome it with conscious insight. All right, so success is in the other side of fear. You could be scared about something or something like that, but you know that you need to go ahead and do it either way. So I know tomorrow will be better than today. Some of you could be in some sort of like a funk or something like that. If you are, get out of that shit, shake it off. It's not worth it. I can make more people feel warm with my love. Definitely more warm with my love than with hate. So I am thankful for the life I've experienced and the opportunities it has presented. A little more. I embrace and enhance the ones that make my mind more creative. another deck can find all right let's see where it is all right so you got here shutting reducing losses elimination and completing a new metamorphosis it's time to set higher goals all right so be careful with the snakes out there right you're shedding your conditioning all this conditioning that they did to you you're shedding another layer of skin right and the snake does trans it's talking about transformation okay so you guys are going through some sort of transformation at this time right yeah and you're definitely in the place of authority to do so right you guys could be business owners or whatever be self-confident right take on the role of leader and everyone will respect you you're respected some of you could be like in the public eye or something like that and yeah spiritual work you could be spiritual healers or something like that open your heart to a spiritual career and heal the human heart you're a light worker what else we got what's shedding shedding and then this is surprise so an unexpected turn can bring positive change be ready for change so two cards of change of change and transformation or uh, transformation oh, what the fuck is wrong with me i can't talk <laughs> i'm also sleepy this is the first time i've ever done uh, reading this late All right so we have here sweet success it's not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy it get what you want
And then you got here gambling. Excessive gambling can have dangerous consequences. Don't risk too much, right? Wisdom, be smart about it, right? Wow, the owl could be significant. Insight into the nature of physical objects gives you the foresight. So use your best judgment. Let me pull two of these really quick. That's very good. What do we got for Aquarius? All right, so love, compassion. Okay, so have love and compassion. It's coming, guys. You're about, somebody's reaching out. It's coming. All right, with a wake-up call, they've had some sort of wake-up call, tsunami. All right, so somebody definitely has some sort of wake-up call. They're going to bring love into a situation. Okay, so use your discernment. It's up to you to allow these people into your life okay because they could be shapeshifters okay so clouds here they could come in with some sort of like yeah i've changed but really they have not okay they come with a storm cloud right behind them all right it says here vision quest they have a vision they could have some sort of hidden agenda for some of you all right so and you're over here like shapeshifting all you all you keep on doing is change transformation all right for the better emergence dragonfly this is you emerging okay you're like the 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 re, the phoenix rising okay you're very some of you could be green witches green witches um signify a person that's an, like an herbalist or something like that okay so they could be like white witches and green witches green witches and white witches like those are the invocation and ceremony yeah so some of you just need to go ahead and call on your spirit guides okay you guys are emerging some of you could be into divination tools or something like that all right so invocation with ceremony and emergence your ancestors are we are helping you grow your intuition is heightening okay look summer solstice with radiance your intuition is on point okay clarify this all right, so white witches, green witches, those are good witches. They know how to manifest things into light, okay? Especially when the veil is out, when there's fog, when things are not as clear, okay? You need to light a candle, you need to sage, okay? When things don't fear, you feel like you have a fog in your head or something like that, okay? Sanctuary, okay, so cave. All right, so you need to cleanse your home. Sanctuary is your sanctuary, All right? And then you have reflection, winter sol solstice, so reflect, introspection. You guys are going through a lot of these things. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. No, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. I love y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.